Among the 262 candidates who wrote the exam at the last St. Paul's Basic School is Herman Odoe Okoti Ashong, who has cerebral palsy. He is one of the few persons living with disability writing this year's exam. Herman was featured in Joy News' hotline documentary, Born Special, which highlighted the plight of persons living with cerebral palsy. Beryl and Estina Richter caught up with him at the examination center, and her report is read to you. 18-year-old Herman was born with cerebral palsy. According to his mother, Mavis Yomuti Kotete, doctors told her that her son would not be able to perform basic tasks like his age mates. Despite this hard truth told to Mavis, she remained a strong tower of support. The doctor told me because of Herman's condition, he would not develop early like other children. And this will affect his movement, speech, and other activities. I accepted this and never stopped praying to God. Today, it is this support that has pushed Herman to climb the educational ladder. He's among the 122 males writing this year's BC at the last St. Paul's Busy School. At the time of my visit, it was almost to the end of the first paper, English language. Stop work! Supervisor for the centre, Benis Belinda Bula, tells me how enthusiastic Herman was, proud to the start of the exams. He's so much comfortable and he's writing his paper. And how I'm you curious, how did he... When he was growing up, his friends were there for him. He would love the whole situation. And what was his mood? Oh, he's all right. He's in the mood of exams. Looking at his demeanor, I realized he's very post for the exams. A few minutes later, Herman arrives with the help of his colleagues who helped him to get into his wheelchair. He tells me he is optimistic of passing the exams. Oh, why so great and fantastic. I learned very hard and I will get my first choice too. What was your first choice? I could I will get one in the next paper. What about this paper? I will get one. I also met with his mother, Mavis, who still remains hopeful his son will pass the exam and later become the medical doctor she always dreamt of. I am very happy because I've always looked forward to this day and I thank God. By the grace of God, he will pass these exams and gain admission to Aquinas to become the medical doctor I want him to. Having faith in a world of uncertainties, is a good thing, but in a country where there isn't enough support systems for persons living with cerebral palsy, that faith is all Herman's family needs to brace through this harsh reality. Beryl and Estina Richter's report for Joy News.